So with everything that's going on regarding Cyberpunk 2077, with the bugs, the crashes, the unplayable mess that it was on a PS4 release, apparently the Xbox players are not having the same situation, to now them getting a class action lawsuit from partners, or potentially getting a class action lawsuit from partners, as well as PlayStation pulling the game from the PlayStation Store. I want to talk about why this is important moving forward with games and how this could impact gaming or gaming releases in the future because it's it's this is a big deal. So make sure you guys are hitting the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have Cyberpunk 2077, what console you're playing it on and what kind of bugs that you guys are experiencing. Now, getting to the topic at hand, the most important subject that I want to focus on is the fact that PlayStation removed the game from the store as well as issued or is issuing full refunds to everybody who purchased the game digitally. Now, why is that important? It's important because this is something that PlayStation has never done before. PlayStation has never pulled a game due to uh, poor quality. And that's saying a lot because we've had Anthem, we've had Fallout 76, we've had No Man's Sky, and not once did PlayStation ever pull the game from the PlayStation Store. So, why is this important moving forward? It's important moving forward because now we're getting to the point that not only are the partners getting upset, not only are the consumers getting upset, but the console platforms are getting upset as well. PlayStation, it seems PlayStation got upset because uh, CD Projekt Red kind of threw them under the bus in regards to Cyberpunk 2077, saying that, oh, you know, when if you guys remember the whole fiasco where uh, Sony said that they were going to do refunds on special cases, basically, if you've never refunded a game before, they would refund it for you, and then CD Projekt Red saying, oh, we're going to refund it, and then coming back and saying, oh, no, we're not going to refund it, go to Sony or Microsoft, that inadvertently, or maybe purposefully pissed off Sony to the point that Sony Interactive Entertainment is like, um, you know what? We're going to pull your game until you fix your game because it's broken, it's a mess, and it's causing us headaches, and it's causing us money because it all comes down to money. If Sony's having to now refund the game out of their pocket, not CD Projekt Red's pocket because CD Projekt Red threw Sony under the bus numerous times, I might add, saying that... Uh, it was Sony and Microsoft who approved the game release. It's not, you know, it's not their fault. It's not Sony and Microsoft's fault that the game is a mess. It's CD Projekt Red's fault. You had eight years to develop this game, and you lied to us saying that the game runs surprisingly well on previous-gen consoles, and it clearly doesn't. It doesn't even run well on the current new gen consoles so you lied and you threw people under the bus and in doing so you pissed them off so it's important because now there's going to it's there's most likely going to be more quality control moving forward when it comes to big releases for games okay so no more at least I would hope that no more will we see messes like Anthem, messes like Fallout 76, and yes, messes like Cyberpunk 77, uh, 2077, or as we like to call my channel, Cyberpunk 76. Hopefully no more will we see these happen. Hopefully the platforms will be like, look, we're not going to release your game if it's not working, if it's not up to up to standards. Because they don't want to have to deal with the backlash. They don't want to have to deal with doing the refunds. They don't want to have to deal with all of this nonsense that is going on. Especially considering how Sony is already dealing with enough stuff regarding the PS5s. Because one, there's not enough PS5s and people really want them. So much so that they're getting into fights for them. Two, that a good deal of PS5s arrived broken or, or messed up or had firmware issues. Uh, and hardware failures so much so that Sony is having to do their own cleanup on their own systems. Now, thankfully, I have a PS5 and my PS5 is doing just fine. Knock on wood. And, you know, it, it's it's one of those things like if I had an issue with my PS5, I would be calling Sony. I'd be like, hey, 
I have a PS5. It's brand new. Why is it not working? You guys need to take care of this. You guys need to fix this problem. So you imagine that Sony's getting all these calls for their PS5s. Not to mention they're getting calls for now Cyberpunk 2077, which is not their fault, right? It is not their fault, but yet CD Projekt Red threw them under the bus. So I can see Sony kind of putting their foot down in more situations like this because they don't want to have to deal with this. If it's not a in-house studio game such as God of War or uh, Detroit Become Human or horizon forbidden west that's that's releasing soon or last of us like if it's not an in-house developed game they're not going to want to have to deal with this nonsense they're not going to want to have to deal with this mess they didn't develop this game it wasn't their studios that developed it so why do they have to suffer for it i look i enjoy playing cyberpunk 2077 when it's working i enjoy it i have fun playing it i'm going to do a review on the game because there's a lot of issues um besides the issues that's being reported there's a lot of issues that i have with the game uh that i honestly would not recommend people to buy it until it's fixed and on discounted sale like to me as expansive as this game is it's not as expansive as a game like fallout uh fallout new vegas or even outer worlds okay because outer worlds has replay value that cyberpunk doesn't and 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 again i i'll yeah, I'll do a review on, on the game, so stay tuned for that if you guys are uh, subscribed to my channel, and if you're not, why not? And let me know your thoughts and opinions on, on this whole situation, because I this is, this is how I feel about it. I feel like moving forward, we're going to start seeing a new change in the way that games release, because... Um, uh, just as just as much as we're tired of it as consumers, the the platforms are tired of it as well, and... I'm kind of glad to see Sony putting their foot down on this. So thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.